Hi, boys and girls. Today, I'd like to read you this story. Emily, the cat who thought she was a dog. And you're right, we did read this story yesterday together. And today, boys and girls, I'm inviting you to help me read this story. So <clears throat> get your reading voices ready. Emily, the cat who thought she was a dog by Willie Bevelins, illustrated by Augusto Mazzolini. All right, read this story with me. Okay. Once upon a time, there was a sweet tabby cat named Emily. In many ways, she was an ordinary cat. She sipped milk from her little red bowl. She stared out the window at birds in the trees. When people came to the house, she just walked away. Right? Those are all ordinary things that a cat might do, right? Yeah. Cats like watching birds, and when people come over, they usually scurry to the other room. They're not around. Okay, but Emily was different in one big way. Emily thought she was a dog. Emily liked to go to the park with Bill, her owner, and she liked to fetch balls like a dog. She also liked to bark at big dogs. <gasps> Do ordinary cats do that, boys and girls? No. Ordinary cats don't play fetch or bark at dogs. And at night, Emily stayed close to Bill to protect him. All was well with Emily until one terrible day. It was the day, oh man, who remembers what happens here? Buster came. Emily growled at Buster. Grrr. Hmm, a cat growling? Hmm, that's strange, right? Cats normally hiss. That night, Buster and Emily waited by the door for Bill to come home, but Emily got to Bill first. When Bill threw the ball, Emily and Buster chased it, but Emily got the ball first. Mm. Emily and Buster both barked at big dogs. Oh, they're getting along there, but Emily barked louder. And at night, Buster tried to stay close to Bill to protect him. But that was Emily's spot. Emily paid no attention to Buster, but then she discovered one thing Buster could do better than any other dog. Do you remember? Hmm. What could he do that he could do better than any other dog? He did it even better than Emily. Buster could meow. Ah, silly ending, right? Silly ending. Let's read the author's note. It says, this book is about a real cat named Emily. I had for 20 years. And yes, I believe she really thought she was a dog. And Willie Bevelin wrote that. So he based this story on his cat because his cat thought she was a dog, but she was really a cat. Silly, right? All right, boys and girls, I'd like you to get out this paper. We're gonna do a little writing today, a little bit of writing. It says on the top, do you think Emily and Buster will get along better? Will things change or stay the same? And we're gonna write three sentences. So, hmm, and then you'll draw a picture. Do you think Emily and Buster will get along better as the story keeps going? Do you think? Yeah, do you think? I mean, they were, you know, playing together a little bit and barking together and Emily did think it was pretty cool that Buster meowed, right? 
Yeah, so I think eventually they'll become friends. Just gotta give it time, right? So I'm gonna write my first sentence and I always start my letters from the top. So I start it at the cloud and I'm gonna write Emily. Look at, start all my letters at the top. I'm spacing them out neatly. Me Emily likes and I don't have enough room, I did my finger space, to write Buster. So I'm gonna write it down here. Please use a pencil. I'm using a marker so you can see it better. Emily likes Buster. What else could we write? Hmm. What can Buster do? Right, Buster, he can. So we could write period. Buster can meow. Because that was an important part of the story, right? Period. So Emily likes Buster, because you can kind of see at the end of the story, maybe in the beginning she didn't like him. But at the end, she thinks, wow, well, that's pretty cool. He can meow. So Emily likes Buster at the end of the story. Buster can meow. So now do you think that Emily is going to let Buster do things? Yeah, I think Emily will let Buster do things with her. I really think that's what's going to happen. So then I'm going to write Emily. I don't know if I'm going to fit it there, so I'm going to come down here. Emily. Finger space. Will. Hmm. Finger space, and I'm going to squeeze in let. I think it'll fit. Let. And then, oh, I ran out of room. I can go on to the back. and start right up top. Let Buster do things with Her, and I'm going to write down here so they're not squished together. Period. Alrighty, we can read to front. Let me go back to the front. It says, Emily likes Buster. Buster can meow. Emily will let Buster do things. Oops, I've got the S on things. Things with her. And then, boys and girls, after you do that, you can use my three sentences or you can come up with your own three sentences, completely up to you. And then you're gonna draw pictures of Emily. And what color is she? She's an orange cat. So I'm gonna draw an orange cat. Cats normally have like green eyes. I'm gonna give my, my Emily green eyes. And a red nose and tongue. There's Emily. And then I am going to draw Buster. And Buster is, what color is Buster? He is brown. So then I'm going to draw Buster. And he looks actually smaller than the cat, doesn't he? He looks smaller. 
Let's look at it again. Yeah, he's smaller than the cat because he's probably a puppy. So, so then I'm going to draw Buster. He's a brown dog. I'm going to draw him a little bit smaller than the cat. Not a lot smaller, but a little bit. And he's got his little tail. Cute. I'm gonna give him brown eyes because most dogs have brown eyes. I'm gonna give him a red nose. Here we go. And I'm gonna draw them playing fetch together because I think Emily will let Buster play with her. We'll let him to um allow him to do things with her. So I'm gonna show a little ball. And I'm gonna show some movement marks, like they're running to get the ball. All right, here we go. Nice job, boys and girls. Keep up the great work. Remember, wash your hands. Love you, bye.